That Slooney, I yelled, another brick wall. I spun around to the doors, my arms outstretched in anger. What kind of house is this? A horrible one, whimpered Precious. I still think we should go upstairs, Rain insisted. Randall, if you're too scared to go up there, I will. No, you mustn't, Precious screamed, clutching her friend's wrist. That's where the ghost is. Maybe we didn't see a ghost, Rain argued. Maybe it was a trick of the light. Maybe it was some kind of vapor. Precious shook her head. We saw a real ghost, and I don't want to see it again. What if it's dangerous? What if it wants revenge? We should leave it alone. I don't want to die, she shuddered. I couldn't resist laughing. Rain, your friend is right, I taunted. We shouldn't go chasing after that ghost. Anyway, you started all this by entering the house when you shouldn't have. Rain's face was like thunder. I like the way you blame me, Randall. She held back. You're just making excuses because you can't find a way to save us. She smirked at us. Anyway, there's another door over there. I followed her gaze and discovered a door hidden in the gloom by the staircase. I wondered how I hadn't spot spotted it before. I stumbled across and grabbed the handle fiercely. Well, go on, open it, Ring challenged me. I gave the, rundle, the handle a twist and the door opened smoothly all the way like the other door should have done. And this time there wasn't a brick wall on the other side. I peered into the darkness, listening for the slightest sound. I heard nothing but silence, not even the squeak of a rat, nothing. Now what? I asked. Without a word, Rain marched across to where I was standing, glad into the darkness, and boldly stepped through the doorway. With a terrified glance at me, Precious followed. I gave a shrug and edged into the mysterious gloom after them. Hey, if this was the way out, what? was there to be scared of. A second or two later, I was clawing at my face, screaming in terror.